Greetings folks, Nathan here for C4 Labs. Today I'm going to show you how to put together the Cloudlet cluster case. Taking a quick look over the parts list, we have the case shell, wood or acrylic sides, 10 mounting plates, a larger hardware packet with Velcro and rubber feet, a small hardware packet, and four 50mm fans. One of the first things you'll want to do is peel the paper off the acrylic parts. Typically it's pretty easy to pick out a corner and get the paper started and peel off. If you find that it's giving you a little extra trouble, you can soak the acrylic parts in warm water for just a couple of moments and from there it should be pretty easy to get the paper off. To add the wood or acrylic sides to your case, you will need a small Phillips head screwdriver and the eight two and a half by eight millimeter screws from the small hardware packet. The sides will already have three millimeter brass insert nuts pressed into them, so all we'll need to do is screw in the eight millimeter screws. Note that if you have the clear color option for the cloudlet case, it does not come with sides, so you can go ahead and skip the step. All right, next we're going to start installing the fans. For this, we'll need the same small Phillips head screwdriver from before, the four 50 millimeter fans, 16 of the 44078 screws from the large hardware packet, and 16 of the 440 hex nuts also from the large hardware packet. As you can see, we'll start by pushing one of the 78 screws from the back and then placing the fan on top of that, and then hand tightening the hex nut. It is recommended that you have the power cables for the fans pointing to the upper left. That'll make it easier to install on the pies when we're adding the mounting plates later. You can go ahead and tighten the screws down with the Phillips head screwdriver. And then you're going to repeat the process for the remaining three fans. To mount a Raspberry Pi to our case, we will need our trusty Phillips head screwdriver, a Raspberry Pi, one mounting plate, four of the 25 by 10 millimeter screws from the small hardware packet, and eight of the 3 millimeter brass insert nuts also from the small hardware packet. First we'll want to place the 25 by 10 millimeter screws through the Pi mounting holes, and then we'll screw on four of the 3 millimeter brass insert nuts. Then we'll want to line up the pie with these four small mounting holes, as it's being pointed out here. And then we'll take our remaining four brass insert nuts and just screw them on down to the pie there. And then using our Phillips head screwdriver just to make sure everything's nice and tight in place. You'll just want to repeat this process for however many number of pies you wish to mount into your cluster. To mount a 2.5 inch hard drive, we will need one mounting plate, four of the 3x8mm screws from a small hardware packet, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Just line up the mounting holes on the hard drive with the large holes on the mounting plate and then tighten down the four screws. The Cloudlet case was designed to hold the Raspberry Pi B+, 2B, 3B, 3B+, and 4B. 
as well as accommodate other micro boards such as the Asus Tinker board that adhere to the Raspberry Pi mounting hole pattern and port configuration. The Cloud Lake can also hold various hats on the Pies as long as they fit within the Pi frame. The case can also hold 2.5 standard hard drives. Alright, it's time to mount the Pies into the case. To connect the fans to a Pi, use the number 6 pin for the black ground wire and either the pin 2 or 4 for 5 volt power. If you want a slower, quieter fan, you can use pin number 1 for 3 volts. To insert a mounting plate, just line up the holes in the back and top of the case and press the plate firmly into place. You should feel and hear a slight click as it makes connection and just give the plate a slight wiggle just to make sure it's in place. And then repeat for every pie that you wish to mount into your cluster. The Cloudlet case can fit eight port switches that are four and a half by eight and three quarters by one and five eighths inches. And you can use the Velcro pads attached to the bottom of the case as well as the switch to help hold it in place if you wish to use a vertical orientation. To remove a mounting plate from the case, simply pinch the tabs at the top of the plate and give a light pull. Do give extra attention to the pies with fans attached to them so as not to damage any of the cables. <laughs> 